a flimsy lunch tray here and welcome to World of Warships in the continuation of our new player guide series. Today we're going to change things up a little bit. We're going to stay in port. We're not be going uh, into battle today. But we want to talk about uh, just some other things here in port and that is specifically settings. Um, I was asked a while back um, about doing a video on settings uh, to kind of go through and I really didn't know how to tackle that or, or what the person in mind was asking. Um, but I think maybe now I have a better, bit better of an idea uh, when we're talking about settings because there's multiple different things you can do uh, in your settings. So if you come up here uh, where you would like go to log out, you have settings right here in your game menu. There's also video tutorials there as well. But settings, so there's three categories you have. You have your graphics, you have your audio, and you have your controls. Okay, there's multiple things that we can do here, okay? So first off, let's talk a little bit about the graphics, okay? So I don't really mess with much uh, right here in terms of making adjustments and stuff. I mean, you can kind of, you go through here, some of these things I'm like, I actually don't know uh, what that means. <laughs> um, so I usually don't really mess with this. I mean, here you can see, oh, fog transparency, gamma, increase the UI scale. Um, but when I come down here to graphics, um, you can see the quality filtering uh, that you have on several different things. Uh, so you can see, you can actually mess around with this uh, if you want different type of qualities off. Maybe it's not eating up as much uh, like the rendering quality, which you can see it's very high. Um, I haven't changed anything, I think, in these settings. Uh, you see reflections, so you can make it more lifelike, uh, if you will. Uh, foliage, so that's gonna be things uh, on the islands around you as you're sailing around. So there's really not so much here happening with your gameplay specifically until we get more into the audio and controls, I would say. But this is just, what is your visual qualities? Uh, what do you want it to be like? Um, you can even you know change the lighting, um, so this is really interesting, uh, color blindness filter, that's cool. And because I'm not color blind, I don't exactly know what these mean, but it's there. Um, and then if you make any changes, you'd click apply and then okay. Um, but we haven't changed anything. So let's go to audio. This is probably where I come in the most, uh, when I'm playing World of Warships, um, Sometimes these levels can be just too much for me. Like I think probably all of these start off more like this And it's just too loud for me um, I'm not so interested in the music while I'm in poor art in game uh, So I just turn some of those things down And sometimes I'm listening to Spotify when I'm playing uh, World of Warships So then I don't really like there being much uh, music in battle So then I, I turn that down um, so I could click apply and to save the changes I made. You can also see sound quality, uh, voice language, uh, voiceover language. So you could I could switch it to multiple different things here. Um, I have it just says standard English. So uh, English pirate, that's interesting. Can you even test that? No. Uh, I don't know if that's actually, if it's any good or not. So, um, so there's actually, there's a few different uh, languages that I could switch things up. Uh, be cool if there's a new region, but I mean, there's only like, what, maybe 10 million people in the world that might speak this language. Uh, voice over modification. Uh, so you can do national, national voiceover, just have that set standard. Uh, you could choose your audio source, speakers, earphones. Um, enable ship horns, so if you don't want to deal with ship horns, you can turn it off. Um, to do ship horns, you use uh, pressing the N key as your standard default control. Um, Voice assistant, uh, quick message, this is voice over, like quick commands when you're in battle. Uh, sound preset, you can change this to several different things. Uh, uh, apparently it's a custom. Um, but you have night, simple, cinematic, uh, standard. I'm not sure if I ever changed this, but right now I have it on custom. Uh, you can have um, volumes for your ship. So let's say your engine sounds are just driving you nuts. You're you don't like hearing the engine constantly while you're in battle and game. It's just too noisy for you. Maybe you fight where you're more like uh, you're 
uh, zoomed up like onto your ship where instead of hovering over your ship your camera is like more on a ship so you're going to hear a lot more engine sounds so then you might want to turn those down interface volume um probably just keep it standard um i believe the interface volume is just what's happening in battle like uh maybe that's also the the voice commands in battle uh if i'm incorrect please correct me in the comments uh voice message volume uh, ambient sound so this could be just like uh like waves um seagulls flying past your ship so you can have that completely off or mess with it so i'll play doing that i don't mind ambient sounds i kind of like that you can also adjust your gunfire volume so maybe when you're taking your shikishima out to battle you just pump that up um i'm not actually for the fun of it it was about down here or something i want to turn it up i think i want to hear my guns a little bit more but that might get really annoying when i'm uh playing a destroyer so uh if a battleship maybe i wouldn't mind because you're not firing until every 30 seconds roughly give or take but maybe we'll just go up there damage audio volume so i'm going to assume this is like damage you've taken or maybe damage you've given or it could be both you can see that's pretty much uh, even right now radio communication effect that was all the way down. Maybe we'll go something like that. Wide dynamic range or loudness compensation. Interesting. And then if you wanted to switch this stuff back to default, we could do that. So apparently everything was up. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we like that. So I, it looks like I have uh, adjusted some things here. Way too much ambient sound. Uh, we'll go like something like that. So I turned things down. Um, I don't like being drowned out by a bunch of things while I'm in battle. Uh, voice chat, you can enable voice chat. Um, so actually in World of Warships, you can communicate with other players. Let's say you start a match, you're by yourself and you start a division in game. And then you can communicate with each other over voice chat. Although it's not the best quality. Discord, for example, is much better. Um, I tried it once with some random guy. Um, it turned out being like a, an 11 year old or something. Um, and my mic wasn't working. I didn't have the setting right or something. So uh, it was just interesting sounds he was making during the game. So um, I just leave it off. <laughs> if I want to talk to someone over uh, audio, I'm going to do it over Discord. You can also have chat volume. So maybe those messages that get sent, uh, received. Uh, That'd be affect that. Microphone, um, you can see I have several different options for microphone. I just have default communication device. Um, and that would be if I was using the voice chat. Microphone sensitivity, turn it up or down. Uh, oh, chat volume. This is, oh, sorry. This is like when if you're listening to someone while you're talking to them in battle, not the messages, I'm assuming. Hmm. Uh, transmission mode, push to talk. So I don't actually know what the push to talk is. Uh, hold V to transmit a voice message. Okay, so that's probably what I didn't do when I uh, talk with that one guy. See, this is this is good for us. Coming into settings, it's also a learning experience for me too, but we can talk through some things. So if you wanna talk with someone, that is what key V does to transmit a voice message. And then I'm not sure what the difference is between processing one and processing two here on the voice chat processing. But yeah, I don't like really talking with uh, players unless I'm doing it over Discord. I don't like doing it in game. So we're gonna click apply. We're gonna just save that. Coming over to controls, there's a lot of things you can do here, okay? It's really cool stuff. All right, so first off we have battle camera. Uh, weapon groups camera while zooming camera in and out. Uh, automatically switch the camera between the gun mounts. You can use also use C to mainly switch between gun groups. Uh, that's what I do. Let's say I'm trying to line up uh, a broadside or I'm trying to shoot around an island. I use the C key to switch between uh, the gun groups. So like front of the ship to maybe more towards the back center of the ship. Uh, limit camera view angles on torpedo tubes. No, I like having this uh, turned off. Uh, invert Y axis. Not entirely sure what that means, but I have it off. <laughs> I think this might have already been a, a default control. 
Always start a battle completely zoomed out. Yes, I like this. I don't I don't do the scroll wheel where I'm zooming in and zooming out of my ship. Uh, I only do that if I'm about to do a drive-by in a battleship or a cruiser, a uh, battle cruiser on someone. Um, but I always like starting zoomed out. I like having situational awareness of what's going on. Yes, we want to track the locked target. This just means that your battle camera, uh, your aiming reticle, will stick with the target. Restore the camera position when exiting free mode. Uh, so right mouse button. So if I click and hold the right mouse button, uh, then I can, if I'm zoomed in, I'm tracking a target, I can look away, see what's going around me, and I can keep firing, like I'm a destroyer or rapid firing gun boat, as an example. Um, so we like that. A zoom limit indicator. Not entirely sure what that looks like in the battle camera, but we have checked. Enable camera feedback when damage is taken. Um, yeah, I kind of like that because it's like, it's just kind of, even when you see your health pool go down, but just uh, when that happens, it's like, okay, I'm being aware of what's happening if I'm zoomed in, as an example. Uh, mouse sensitivity, Y, X axis, Y axis, mouse wheel. So what happens if I do this? Oh, wait, let's do this. Let's turn it back down. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not entirely familiar with what the mouse sensitivity X axis and Y axis. I would think that's like a plane. Yeah, there's only so much I know, guys. <laughs> I will never claim to know it all in World of Warships. Uh, but this gives you an idea. We'll to come to the crosshairs here in a minute. This is a fun one. Um, you can also have terrain hit indicator. I have it on. So this means that, you, like, let's say you're heading towards an island and then you kind of get this arc it's like i think was it orange or yellow with like some cross marks through it that means you're going to hit an island you can have the i think default is that collision avoidance system is on so your ship will automatically um it'll just automatically take control without you telling your ship what to do to in order to avoid the island I don't like this. This has killed me, so I turned it off. Because sometimes I'm purposely wanting to ram into an island, and then now I'm having to fight with the um, the UI and where I want my ship to go. So this has killed me. I have it off. So sometimes I'm purposely ramming islands. Um, so if you don't like it uh, being on, you can turn it off here. Alternative interface mode. I have it on full. Uh, this means I'm seeing a lot more things in game, in battle um, information. Enabling the alternative battle interface mode may affect game performance. I have it on full. Um, I like seeing what's happening. Always display the timers for fire flooding other uh, modifiers. Actually, yes. We do want that on. So I'll tell you how much longer the fire has to tick or flood. So we'll go ahead and leave that on. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do these and we'll hit these two last. Um, display team lineups. So this is part of that uh, game interface. So I like seeing both teams, uh, the lineups. Show both main battery and torpedo tubes load indicator. Like that's those little bars above your consumables. We want those on. Show smoke screen boundaries. Yes, especially if you want to know where to keep uh, your ship in the smoke screen. If you have this off, then it's a guessing game. Um, your ship will become visible in a smoke screen if the center part of the ship exits the smoke screen. Um, even if your bow or your stern sticking out, you're still concealed. It's the midpoint of the ship is what matters. Um, it's the same thing if you're behind an island. Uh, let's say that you're firing on an enemy ship and you're using the island for cover. Even if your bow or your stern sticking out, he can't see you unless he can see the, the midsection of your ship uh, when he gets around the island more. Smoke screen timer, this is very beneficial. Um, helps you know how much time you have left if maybe you need to leave the smoke screen a little early because the team is pushing in. All scenarios of the training room. Okay, some scenarios. Maybe this is like uh, weather, storm, cyclone, thunderstorm. Hmm, not entirely sure about that. Skip video at game launch. So this would be like uh, when you log into World of Warships, um, it takes you through that whole video uh, as your game is launching. Uh, if you don't want that, you can turn this on. I just have it off. Uh, counter for damage uh, upon your spotting. So that's up here on the right. We want that. We want counter for potential damage. I like tracking that and seeing how uh, much damage we've been uh, potential to take during the battle. Uh, language bar. 
you can have that up. It, I'm assuming it'll be up in the corner of the screen. Show time in ports. I like that. Battle chat, enable messages in battle chat. Um, so that should be your battle chat on the left. So you can turn that off and then you will not be able to send any messages, but you can still see what's happening. Um, I'm not sure if, let's see, enable messages in battle chat. So I think you can still see what other people are saying, maybe. But you have disabled your messages in battle chat. That's how I view that. I like using battle chat um, because if I am doing like, hey guys, I'm, I'm uh, moving to Cap Bravo. Um, I'm going to spot for you on this flank. Hey, help me focus this destroyer who's up in front of me. That kind of thing. So I like using battle chat. I know some people just don't like to deal with it at all. So I'm going to click apply just so that we remember that. Okay, cross here. Select your cross here. So we have the static uh, type two, and we can change the background to kind of see, you know, how does this actually look? I don't know which one's best. It's like so many bright colors. Let's go with that. So we can go type one. You can see a few things change there. Two, it just it looks like it stands out a bit more. So there's a whole list of things you can do here. You can get really tech savvy. So if I go, let me go back to type two and I click dynamic. Um, the dynamic crosshair is adjusted automatically in proportion to the approximation of the view through the binocular. So this like will zoom in and out. Uh, but I use static because I want it to stay the same. So if I did something like, uh, not that, there's, there's one that there's a good amount of players I've seen use that they like. Yeah, like this one. So then if your ship's turning, it kind of helps you angle. This is just too much for me to see on the screen. Uh, I don't like it. Eight, so you can see it's more black. Nine, red. Oh, that actually looks a little better. Uh, then you have this. So this is like seconds, I'm assuming, travel time. Could totally be wrong. It's just a guess. I've seen players use this one too on YouTube videos. It's different. And 14. So we have type two, which looks like it's the same as that one. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see how it's just type two I like because it stands out a little bit more. I'm just trying to see these differences here. It's just interesting. Black. So if you want to try out a different crosshair, you can do that here. Um, and then to see how you like it. Uh, to me, I'm just fine with that. Uh, just keeping it static. I don't like it being dynamic or it will automatically adjust in proportion to where I'm aiming. Perhaps there's some of you are watching this video that you love the dynamic and you think it's the best thing ever. Um, so this is something I would be curious just to hear in the comments. Like what type of crosshairs do you use? What do you found really beneficial? Um, I've just have kind of always stuck with the standard. Um, I have messed around trying out a few different ones, um, but uh, I didn't really care for it so much, so I kept with that. Um, the last thing uh, here is your controls, okay? So you can uh, default controls, so you can reset everything, uh, or you can come in through here and change things. So as an example, so I have come in here and you can uh, bind um, more than just one key. So if you want to disable your AA and secondary guns, that's uh, the P key. But I've also bound it to my mouse. Um, so I have a Razer mouse that has a few additional buttons on it. So rather than maybe sometimes having to look all the way down my keyboard in the midst of battle um, to press press P, uh, the P key, um, I'll just hit the uh, this button I have on my mouse. Uh, so mouse five, and then also for selecting priority AA sector, mouse four. So um, it's nice because when I'm looking in the direction that the enemy planes are coming from with my mouse, then I just click uh, my mouse four key, um, and that instantly selects uh, the priority AA sector. So you can bind more than just one key. You, you can see it's uh, P and O, but we're also using mouse five and four. Um, some players like to come in here and change things around. Um, you can see there's the sections they have. Let's go back to the top. Ship direction, 
Uh, cruise control, weapon groups, ship consumables, camera, weapons, aircraft controls, submarine controls, that's gonna be a new one, mini map, uh, so zoom in, zoom out. So you, if you you can make your mini, uh, mini map larger or smaller just by pressing the plus or minus or also number plus, number minus. Um, and then other. Quick messages. So this is, uh, so let's say you want to, you don't want to have to pull up that quick command screen. Like that's when you hold um, B, that's like for the panel. Um, and then you just click one of those with the mouse. You can also use your F keys uh, to quickly shoot a message without having to pull up a quick commands panel. Um, I haven't really learned to do this. I just like pulling up the interface, uh, the panel, uh, and then being able to select whatever option. Voice chat, V, camera settings. Uh, this is if you go into like free camera mode. Um, this is how you move around. Um, and you, if you press, Let's see, control J, that will take uh, all information off the screen, just your ship. That's like a free camera mode. And then if you wanna break your camera away from the ship, you press uh, right control, shift, backspace, all three at the same time. Um, and then you can move your camera around however you want. So if you wonder how sometimes uh, you see people on YouTube doing that, um, that's how they're doing it. And there's also, I think there's even a Word of Worship's forum post about uh, all this. So. You can come in here and then maybe you were kind of wondering, oh, I didn't realize that. Like, it just helps you learn different things. Uh, so the, the point of kind of like while I'm showing you uh, these settings is to sometimes it doesn't hurt to just take 20 minutes, uh, 15, 10, uh, to be able to come in here and say, hey, I want to change some things around. I don't like how it is, right? Because a lot of times, like, if you're like me, I just, as soon as I log in, I just like, you know, mounting up my ship going into battle. Um, or sometimes it's harder for me to like, hey, I should read through the news, see if there's any combat missions to select or uh, get some free stuff. Uh, or coming into settings for just 15, 20 minutes and setting uh, and changing things to have more of my liking. Um, and that actually enhances my play experience that little bit more, even just some small things. Because the volume thing is uh, a big thing that messes with me a lot. Um, as probably also, I went to a, a school of music in college. And so I'm very particular about uh, music sounds and also when I'm listening to Spotify uh, when I'm playing I just don't like having music really much playing at all in the background so that is settings so um, I hope you found that beneficial uh, I have been so busy these last few weeks and I will be doing some more battles uh, working to grind up a bit more on the my EU account here um, it's just been about all I can do within a server account when I, I do have time. But we'll talk a little bit more about um, the play experience, especially now that we have this tier six Pensacola and we're going into battle. Um, we're now, oh, we can start seeing tier eight ships. We can be bottom tiered. Uh, the bottom tier experience in World of Warships can sometimes be brutal depending on what ship you're in. So if you liked today's video on settings, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And I'm always uh, open to feedback if there's something you think you'd be particularly good for you to see. Uh, and as a new player here in World of Warships, I'll keep those things in mind. If I'm able to do them, I'll do my best. If I'm not, uh, then I'll, I'll let you know. Um, I don't like to get into the nitty gritty details of some things sometimes. Um, as my brain just processes things different <laughs> at times as well. So with that being said, I hope you're having a great Wednesday and take care.